Good morning. Today is Friday, May 1st, and we are finishing our book, Chickens Aren't the Only Ones. I'm not going to read it again because we've already read it a couple times this week. So if you haven't heard the story yet, go back and listen to one of the other videos. But I'm going to go right into the writing. So you're going to need your Chickens Aren't the Only One writing paper from your packet. I'm going to get that pulled up right here. All right, it says, if you could have an oviparous animal as a pet, which one would you select? Why would you pick that pet? So like I said, if you need to go back into the book, you can go into one of the other videos, but I want you to think of some of those oviparous animals. And we even made, I think I still have my sort right here, the sort, and you put all the oviparous animals on one side of the sword. So that could help you too. Remember, oviparous animals are what? Yeah, the animals that lay eggs. So if I could have one as a pet, which one do you think that I would pick? Now, it doesn't have to be the same one as Mrs. Tattlebaum. You could pick any animal you want. I'm going to pick a butterfly. I'm gonna pick a butterfly and I'm gonna write I would pick a butterfly as a pet because it is pretty. That'll be my sentence. So we're gonna count how many words. I would pick a butterfly as a pet because it, uh oh, ran out of fingers, is pretty. It's a lot of words. I think it might even be 12 words. Why don't we just start out with the beginning of my sentence? I would pick a butterfly. That breaks it down. I would pick a butterfly. Five words. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my five spaces for now. Remember, I'm gonna add on to this, but I'm gonna add five spaces just to start out with. I would pick a butterfly. All right, let's just start out with that. I. But well, you know how to write the word I, so I need you to start with your capital I. It's the beginning of our sentence. I, good. And then you're gonna use your finger space. I, finger space, would. Now that's a big sight word. It should be on your word wall, or you can even see it up here, up in the question. Why would you pick that pet? I would. So go ahead, you can copy it from the top if you like. Good writers can use their resources to help them with words. So you have your word wall, you have your paper. And you can go ahead and write that word. I would pick, well, we can sound this word out, pick, p, p, p. I would p I, 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 p I, p I, k. It ends with a k, so we need a ck. I would pick a that sight word A, you know that right away. You can write that one. Or uh. I would pick a butterfly. Ooh, that sounds like a big word. That's what I'm gonna have to clap out. Butterfly. How many claps did you hear? Butterfly. Three claps. So let's focus on the first clap. But oh, we know how to write that. That's a sight word, but but. B, a, u, t, t, but, middle clap, but, tur, tur, I hear a t, t, another t, and the r, er, fly, the last clap, butter, fly, fly, hear it. O -o -i. Now that is not how you spell the word butterfly, but if you can hear those sounds and get those letters onto your page, that would be awesome. It's close enough. I would pick a butterfly 
as a pet. Ooh, I can keep reading my sentence. Remember, I had a lot of words in the sentence. I would pick a butterfly as a pet. Let me count as a pet. Okay, three more words. So let me get my spaces there. Let me get my space as a pet. Now as, as. It's a sight word. But you can also sound that one out, as. As a pet. P -t. I can sound this word out too, I think. P, P a a e t t t. Woo, that was a lot of writing. So let's look. We wrote, I would pick a butterfly as a pet. And now I have my big word because. Because. I was going to say because it is pretty. So how many more words do I need? Four. Four more words because, oops, let me get my highlighter here, because it is pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my pencil. Because, because is a big word. That is one that we should have on our word wall so that you can look at that to spell it. I'm gonna help you right now. You need B, E, C, A, U S E. Now I know this is a lot of writing, so if you need to pause the video while you catch up, you can do that. Because I'm not giving you a lot of time in between. So just pause it if you need to, and you can look at the paper. And remember, you don't need to pick a butterfly. This is just the pet that Miss Tattlebaum is deciding to pick. I would pick a butterfly as a pet because it, oh, we should know how to do this word, it, it, it is it. Two sight words there. Because it is pretty. Pretty will be a sight word for first grade, but we can sound out part of it for now. Purr, purr. You hear two sounds. P purr, purr, P R. Pretty, P R E T T. Why? And I know that's a hard word to sound. That's why it's a sight word. It is a not fair word. Uh, but you can go ahead and use my word if you want one help. Or you can just write the sounds that you hear. And that should be about it. I would pick a butterfly as a pet because it is pretty. What else do I need to do? Put my period. It is a telling sentence. I'm telling you why I would pick a butterfly as a pet. So now it's time to do my illustration. I'm gonna go ahead and draw, let's see. I don't have a lot of colors on here, but I'm gonna draw a butterfly, at least my best butterfly, here in the sky. And I'll draw, let's see, some grass below, some flowers, or at least a flower. I think I can do another flower down here. And we'll make it a nice sunny day. We're outside. See how my picture is giving it a setting? We know we're outside and it's sunny. I might even draw another butterfly so that he has a friend. And if I had crayons, I'd make these beautiful, all different colors. I'm gonna go ahead and label some things. I'm gonna label my butterfly, the main character in my little sentence here. And I can label the flowers and the grass and the sun. That was very quick because I want you to label your picture. So remember the, the labels and the details help give more information about what's happening. You have more of a setting because you can see my sun. You know that we're outside, showed you there's grass and flowers. You can probably guess the season. It might be spring or summer. So when you are writing, I want you to have lots of details 
and as much labeling as you can. And that's all that we're doing today. I hope you have a great weekend, friends. Bye.